Hello there. Today in the Healthy Choices section, I'm going to talk about skin brushing. It's something you can do every day, and if you don't do it every day, you just do it when you feel like it. And it's very powerful to clear the aura, but also to clear the body. All you need to do is buy yourself a brush. They usually have a long handle, which I found really handy, and then they have a little brush at the end. Or you can have gloves. The gloves are good. Um, there's quite a lot of contact you can have with a glove too. However, I don't find it's useful for me because I need to do my back and I haven't got anyone to do that. So it's very quick and easy for me to use my little dry skin brush. I just hang it up and leave it in my bathroom and wash it when I feel it needs a good old wash. First thing you do is make sure that you're perhaps more in a warm environment because it can be quite cold there brushing your skin. And just before you shower or your bath, just get ready and you brush. I usually brush from my feet up towards my heart on both my feet coming up and then from my hands up towards my um, shoulders and I always do it under the armpits. When I do my feet I also linger around my ankles because there's lymph there, it often gathers there and then just do the rest of your body and just give it a good brush. Don't brush it too hard, it's not about that, it's mostly just about clearing off and cleans, doing a little cleanse. And what this does is helps to clear the aura as well. So while you're doing that energetically, it's also clearing the aura. This is a good way to get your skin to recycle more quickly, it's not exfoliating. And by doing it on a daily level, it just keeps the old skin leaving and the new skin coming up and a regeneration. I found that if I didn't do it for a while, there'd be quite a lot of skin that actually comes off. And then afterwards, have a hot shower or a bath. And if you can, then you have time to put some oil on your skin afterwards. I don't really suggest that you put oil on before you have the shower, when you've done the brushing, but after is fine. The skin brushing is really good for your lymph system, and it's a good way to get it to charge up, and it's like having a little mini lymph massage. I found that I felt more energized by doing it. I knew it was doing me good. And not only was it helping the skin, which is a place where most of our toxins come out of, onto our skin, I knew it was clearing off and helping my body to cleanse. Our skin takes a lot of the energetic things that are happening with us too. That's why if we get upset, we get rashes. So we're just cleaning it and cleaning it. It keeps it strong and it keeps it moving and, and it keeps the energy of the actual skin moving. Of course, if you've got very sensitive skin, I suggest you do it very gently at first. It can come up a bit red at the beginning or if your skin's not quite used to it and find something that works for you and don't go too hard on it. It is suggested you do it for five or seven minutes, but I'll be honest, I don't usually do it that long. Probably do it for maybe two or three minutes and that's enough. But I also feel I'm doing it on a daily basis, so it's not so important. You'll find this helps to energise you as well. And by having the shower afterwards or the bath, you cleanse the body and clear off the skin. And that's what we're trying to do. We're really just trying to help the body to release and clean itself and let go of all the toxins and any negative energy that we're holding on to in the skin area. The skin is almost where we breathe also energetically, we breathe in and out through our skin and the skin is porous and when we do this we're also breathing in and out some of our emotions. If you have rashes or psoriasis or any of these things you might need to consider where you use this method and whether if you do use it to use it quite gently. The other way is to just do it around the parts that aren't rashy and uh, inflamed and uh, then your skin's still getting a bit of a clean up. I always do quite a big brush on the bottom of my feet because I think the feet gather things like it falls down into your feet so to speak. So I always do that and I always do the palms of my hands because I actually feel they're two areas that they're kind of collection places. And they're also two areas where the endings of all the meridians go, most of our meridians end in our hands and our feet so when we do it, it also activates those meridians so you're not only doing your skin, you're also by doing this, you're sort of activating all these acupuncture points around your body and this is, can only be good for you. I suggest you do it every day if you remember to do it 
And if you're lucky enough to have a partner who can do your back, that's cool. Other than that, do what I do and have the long handle. It's a great thing to do. You will actually feel better for doing it and your skin will love you. And energetically, it's a good way to release a lot of extra energy that you might not be able to do. So I'm sending you lots of love and light and enjoy your skin brushing.